It is time to get very serious about our spiritual preparation for things to come. I will be making a whole separate video at some point on 2025. This is the final destruction year here in 2024. And so 2025 leading into that is going to be a rebuilding period. So if you're feeling at this time, like everything's really sluggish, you know, is that, you know, one step forward, two steps back kind of feeling, it's okay. You're in good company. Everyone's going through it right now. But there are some other really big happenings going on. And as I've been saying for a very long time, this is a spiritual battle. How do you get prepared? I'm going to make a video as well on Archangel Michael and how to protect yourself, how to know if you're working with Archangel Michael to give you some of that. So check those out when those come up. I'll probably have those up in the next week or so. All right. So keep an eye out for that. But more than anything, you need to reassess how do you carry your energy? Where do you throw your energy on a day-to-day -day basis, right? Are you somebody who engages in power struggles? Are you somebody who all the attention always has to be on you? You can't let someone get a word in edgewise, you know? <laughs> like, are you that person? Are you somebody who is not loving and forgiving? These are things that you have to stop and look at. For some of you out there watching this, you might be saying, well, I have a past that I am not proud of. And I understand that, all right? It is not as if you are going to, quote unquote, be left behind or you're going to somehow miss out. It matters what you're doing with the information you're given. Yes. So if you have wronged someone, have you made it right? If you have not closed out a certain lesson, whether that's with a person, a pattern, generational healing, there's going to be a lot of that going down. Okay. So be ready for that. You can still make amends. You can still go back and, you know, close out those uh, lessons. You can practice forgiveness. It's kind of, you have to do it now. You know, for the longest, and I've always said, and I, I still will say, you don't have to necessarily be in a hurry to forgive someone if you're not ready, but make sure you're not carrying that anger and that hurt around with you. And obviously people who want to diminish others, you know, it's all those things that we talk about as narcissism. I, from a spiritual standpoint, I would say that that's darkness working through someone. All of that is going to be amplifying, but I don't want you to get scared. It's not something to be scared of because you're going to be handling it far differently than you have in the past. My voice just went out in the past. Okay. <laughs> you know, you are a far different person now than you ever were. Yes. So please make sure that you are making your spiritual practice a priority. Start out in the morning, meditation, calling in angels and archangels. Uh, you guys know that I do offer reading services, so you can go to angelsouls444.com if you want to submit a question and ask me specifically what do you need to, again, specific to you, what do you need to be doing right now, what sort of lessons are you completing, um, what might be something that you need to get prepared for in your own existence, but please don't just, I mean, that's a good place to start if you know you want to work on some stuff, but if you come in and you ask for a reading because you just want to get ahead of the game, um, yeah, I don't know. You, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> please just be taking a moment, checking in with yourself and asking, you know, am I, am I really engaging in this because I want to have expanded awareness, expanded consciousness. I do want to connect with the angelic realm. Or am I just trying to find another way to get my way? Because that's going to backfire on you. So just be aware of that. Live readings, I can take live readings this week. I think I'm going to be pretty good, mostly in the evenings right now. If you want one of those, email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com. Once you email and find out that, yes, I can get you in at some point this week, payment is due. If you do not pay you know, then you don't get the reading, obviously, but I'm going to make a note of that. Okay. That you're just coming in and kind of messing around and things like that. So please make sure you are communicating. 
And if you want the reading, you have to submit the payment and then I will get you on the calendar for a specific time. Again, I think I'm gonna put the whole Archangel Michael thing in a separate video. It is time to get ready. Do the healing. If that means you get with a therapist, remember I always say, do not use spiritual practice as a substitute for everything, okay? <laughs> so take care of your physical body with a doctor. You take care of your mental health, your psychological health with a good therapist, okay? There's a lot of nasty ones that have slipped through the cracks, but you know. So also a very good time to make sure that you are, and I'm even hearing this now, examine your connection to the divine. Examine your connection to the divine. Big presence of Mother Mary around as well. If you want to be working with her. They are really coming forward and saying, get the message out that the time has come for all of this to be done because you need to be prepared for what you start to see out in public. We're already seeing this where we have people out there being exposed. All this stuff is coming out and we're starting to realize Things are not what they seem. They are not what they seem. There's going to be much, much more of that. And some people are not going to, you're just not going to be, you're going to be in denial. You're going to maybe shut down. Again, if you're one of those people who's just like, don't scare me, don't scare me, don't scare me. We told you. Oh, we got a couple, we got a few cards coming out. All right, so let me put these in order here. All right, the first card out is Saint Sinner. This is the very thing that we're talking about that's going to start breaking open. The duality consciousness aspect that we're in, we're in a duality consciousness, right? That's why we um, have a whole range of emotions from the worst of the worst to the best, right? That duality is really going to be coming up to the surface. So you might be in situations where you're of two minds around what to do. Do I stay or do I go? Do I like this or not? Uh, but more than anything, this is coming to terms with your human existence and giving yourself a little, as I say, space and grace. Having some forgiveness. Here's Mother Mary. She popped out in this. She came like one, two, three, fourth card that I pulled. But I work with Mother Mary. She will accept you no matter what. Your faith is, okay, do what's right for you, right? And what feels correct for you, of course. Uh, but th there's some, I want to just kind of show these and then I'll explain. Decision, they're beautiful cards. Transformation, things are going to be breaking open that you cannot believe. Like what? Like realizing that some of these things that you thought were the craziest things you ever heard are true. Like finding out people's stories. You know, one of the things that I find so fascinating, I personally love when someone trusts me with their story. I love when they share, right? Because I am interested in humans, right? <laughs> the human condition, um, humanity, you know, all of that. I, and I'm empathetic to what people go through. So I like, I like to hear what they have experienced. It is confounding to me when people are like, no, 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 no. Don't ever tell me your story. I don't care about you. Let's get back to me. I, I don't understand. I don't understand it. I just don't understand it. This is a time where if you have not, one, been kind to others, if you haven't been supportive to others, you're going to see the consequences of that. But more than anything, you haven't really done sort of your human study. So you have yourself as an example to look at, but you're in this world with so many others, with all of our siblings. We have that opportunity to learn by bouncing our energy off of one another, by going through scenarios with one another. But if you've just been very self-centered, 
If you are petty, conniving, passive aggressive, or just overtly aggressive, whatever the deal is, I want to feel this out. What's happening to you? I don't know what's going to happen to you all if you're like that. They're showing me a swirling down, like a spiraling down. And this is where, you know, you might say, I, I wasn't, you know, I, that didn't happen to me. I ended up getting a promotion. You're going to hate your job. And what's more, you are going to be locked out of true happiness. You won't come across the people who are genuine loving people. You will have the ones who are always about appearances and again, control and, you know, I'm going to change plans 20 million times just so I have control and I'm going to, you know, if they know how to push your buttons, especially in a social setting, what might embarrass you or make you feel uncomfortable <laughs> and they're going to great lengths to make sure they do that. If those are the kinds of people that you're going to end up attracting if you're in that spiral down, I, that is not talking about people who are depressed. That's not what we're talking about, darlings. Okay. Like again, make sure you reach out in your county. There are resources. I promise you. Okay. There are going, well, I don't know about the rest of the world, but here in the United States, most counties have something to help you get by. All right. Do not be afraid to reach out to someone especially hotlines, those kinds of things. So you can talk to somebody, obviously, if it's an emergency, you call 911. But make sure you're looking into those resources in conjunction with your spiritual practice, okay? So I want to make that clear. The spiraling down is not for people who are experiencing just a downtime right now. I'm talking about the people who really think that power comes through manipulation because they would get these quick... Um, quick results and, and it wasn't based in anything. Now, the good news for a lot of you watching is that all that work you've done, all those things you've been through, you're ready. You're ready. And this one's for you. This is miracles. This is what's going to start opening up for you. And part of the miracle, it's going to be different for every person. Okay. Now you can tune in with angels and get those messages for yourself. You can work with me if you want. If there's another angel medium that you like, go work with them. Go support people who are doing high frequency work because they are the ones. We are the ones. I'm in there too, I guess. <laughs> we are the ones that uh, are um, really going to be stepping up here. And everything we've been through, all the training, all the, you know, opening up to angelic messaging and allowing that to come through us to be a conduit for that. Now we're kind of being called up for service, if you want to see it that way. So do what you got to do. But let's talk about this for a second. Massive transformation. Mother Mary popping up. I mentioned her right at the top before the cards came out. You're going to probably feel like... Things are not good. Like everything you expected has been a letdown. Or for some of you, this could be something that you thought, well, that was a lost opportunity. That person, you know, I, I should have asked them out on a date and I never got a chance to. <laughs> Maybe. Or, you know, I should have accepted that job and I never did. Things may be coming back around because it, it's not about this uh, sort of fourth dimensional take where it's like, well, you know, you it's past lives and you have this connection and it's coming back around. You know, that's all well and good. There's nothing wrong with that. But this is different. I want to make the distinction here. This is about having a transformation and a breakthrough. And through that, you're kind of rising up. <coughs> pardon me, uh, rising up. And now you are energetically aligning with something. They're calling it something that is faceless, something that you can't really describe, something that doesn't, doesn't fit into the con your normal context of things. But there's so much beautiful energy around it that you know that's the direction you're supposed to be going in. You know that, okay, I, I don't know where this is going, but I know this is the next step. I know it is to maybe have a conversation or maybe to 
get back to looking for a different job if you don't like where you are. Now I'm giving very surface level day-to-day -day kinds of examples. This is far bigger than that. But I know that people tune in here, especially for the weekly and dailies, you know, uh, it's a check-in, right? And you're checking in about the energy and how it's going to be affecting your week. I understand that. But I want you to understand that your dichotomous nature, you're going to have to be at peace with that. But you have support, Mother Mary. And Mother Mary is all about compassion. So is Archangel Raphael. Work with Raphael. Work with Michael. Uh, open that heart space. Ooh. Be working on that. I'm being all dramatic. But work on that, okay? <laughs> and you have to make a decision. Are you going to choose the light or the dark? Some of you are not ready for this. And I understand. I'm not sure I'm ready for it. I mean, I think I am. But you never know, right? <laughs> like, my, my, my have be like, ooh, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think it was going to look like this. Like, what do I do with this? But whatever decision you make, it's transformative. And again, some people are going to choose the darkness. I either out of fear or a lack of self-worth or, you know, mostly I think it's going to be just not deserving that they think, or they think they're not deserving when they absolutely are. Okay. And then we have those miracles. So let me get to the dailies. I'm going to break those down. I just want to set this reminder out there. I have thousands of videos on my Angel Souls YouTube channel, and they are actually timeless. I put dates on them and stuff like that. Go into the, the playlist. I think I have it called Weekly Favorites. Do this. Go in there and just whatever you're kind of drawn to, make a game of it if you want. Go in and choose one of those videos and see if anything's there for you. Most likely there is going to, because if you're energetically aligned, there's going to be a message. You're going to be guided into the message. And then of course that playlist just goes on. If you care, I don't, I don't know if you want to sit and binge watch my videos, but <laughs> if you do, it helps me. Thank you. Um, but you know, you can just see what comes up. I like to do that with certain creators on YouTube where I get drawn into, I just kind of get a pull and I know like, okay, there's something here in this particular video for me. And I listen to it and then I just let it ride and I just let the next video come up and the next video come up and just see what else might be there. And again, I like to give back to people who are out here trying to get these messages out as well. So be good to everyone out there. Be kind, be kind to yourself. Remember that things are not impossible. Okay. And take step by step here. Let me get to also making that video on Archangel Michael and how to connect with them. So I will catch you guys next week. I'm sending you love. Remember, if you're having a rough week this week, someone's on your side. That's me. We love you here. It's a community here. Join us. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.